Hello there everyone, this is Paul from The Daily Dose and uh, let's have a, uh, a look at uh, some new cars from Hot Wheels. In this episode, it'll be all Hot Wheels and I hope you will enjoy this. Let's start with this first. Huge thanks to Ajib Nobi by the way for the photos right here and uh, yeah, first up, it's probably one of my favorite castings for this year, the, the Audi 90 Quattro. It is a fantastic car and i i love the first release that was the white one just tons of details and uh, this is a recolor so the same details right there except for the color and uh yeah i'm loving this again it's one of the best looking cars one of the best looking main lines in my opinion from them uh by just looking at the amount of details it has and the form factor of the car is just pretty good so again, lovely Audi 90 Quattro right here. They also have an upcoming Chevy Nomad, another main line. Um, what can I say about the car? I think it's pretty okay. Not the biggest fan of the Chevy Nomad casting. It has been out for quite some time. But again, I'm not really a big collector uh, of this car. I do have like uh, a couple ones uh, from random buys way back then uh, but I think uh, for this yeah it still looks good what I love especially uh, is the pink windows for that one even though it doesn't really match the color of the car but I love like pink windows uh, in our 164 scale car especially from Hot Wheels and uh, next right here we have a 71 Plymouth GTX another casting that is not really that popular from where i live i don't know if in the u.s or somewhere i'm yeah i'm, I'm saying u.s because most of the viewers here are from u.s but i know there are uh, also um, quite a lot of viewers from different countries but yeah i think this is not really that popular uh in my opinion but it is still a fantastic car you can still have a lot of fun with this one and uh i have seen like uh some custom 71 plymouth gtx looking really good yeah this one is uh, a good platform for uh, customizing cars i should say so yeah for this you can tons of details on that one i actually love the livery uh, on this one and yeah even though it doesn't have like front and rear uh, light tempos but I'm still loving that one uh, a lot next up what do we have here yeah a new McLaren Solos GT it is actually like a phenomenal looking car I really don't know much uh, about the the real uh, real life McLaren Solos GT don't know what really the specs are for this uh, yeah obviously I think this is like a, a supercar of course and <laughs> it is just yeah a sexy looking car i think this car lo looks sexy i know there are like tons of curves on that one tons of uh even though yeah i don't know some weird lines but yeah it works uh on this car so love it really simple and plain white the wheels uh looks again really basic for this i wish they could have just used like better set of wheels for this one but it's still i think it's like one of like uh a must buy main lines out there from hot wheels next up right here also one of my favorite uh recent casting from hot wheels actually the cadillac seville uh, loving like the first one uh that they have not really the first one yeah the, if you remember the white one with like the wood wood uh wood design wood panel on the side so love that uh this one i think looks uh more modern for this vintage classic car uh yeah the the white one with a wood panel i think works better than this but since i love this i actually uh collect this also uh, yeah I'd probably buy this uh, if I can see one in stores so 
uh, definitely see you all in store because this is not not really hype casting from where i live and it just looks good it just looks uh like a fun little car and also yeah how about this another tuned car from hot wheels this time we have a tuned uh, 911 uh porsche turbo right here so it is quite amazing i love tuned cars actually some of you don't don't like tuned cars some just don't <laughs> just don't care about them but i am a really big fan of tuned cars especially the supra i think that that is like the best tuned car that they have uh recently loving that one i still i'm not able to find one in stores man i have to tell you something here there are tons of new collectors right now and uh yeah i think most of them from what i'm seeing in facebook market page are resellers and uh that sucks to be honest uh, i wish like there were there are more like true collectors out there who just buy stuff and uh, collect them enjoy them not reset resell them whatsoever but yeah it is what it is we can't do anything about it but i'm just speaking what i'm feeling so anyways yeah, continuing on to the tune porsche 911 turbo again outstanding car some of you don't like how how uh, high like the the windows are and uh, yeah it is a tuned car it is meant to look that way so i am terribly impressed with this to be honest next right here new product from hot wheels this is interesting uh, actually and there's not a lot of information about this uh, i just saw this on t hunted blog thanks for the for the update here so apparently hot wheels has like a new pullback uh series they call it pullback speeder series hot wheels pullback speeders and yeah it is interesting it consists of uh, eight cars all in all so you see the bone shaker you see the porsche 911 gt3 see a twin mill muscle and blown which is a really good looking fantasy casting fusion buster don't really care that much about that one uh, low looks again really cool looking pickup more like a inspiration of a toyota hilux right there it's a more like weird looking uh half of the car and uh, yeah they have a mighty k also one of my favorite uh casting also from hot wheels gmc hummer ev right there don't really collect that casting that that much but you got eight cars they're quite uh good already and this will be interesting if they can uh, make this like 164 scale the same like a standard 164 that uh they have make it pull back i wish it was that way i'm not really expecting that much uh, for this line i'm probably betting that this has more plastic parts than metal parts out there again this is like a pull back so you see a lot of like cheap looking pull back cars from uh, other brands i think it's on that uh direction but i hope i'm just wishing this is like our regular main lines with pullback mechanism that would be awesome to be honest and lastly so again thanks to t hunted blog for this so here's an update on the 2023 pop culture line from hot wheels and uh, this is uh, an upcoming one so I don't know what the name of this to be exact so again part of the pop culture line so this will include like the thunder tank back to the future time machine 50s version 78 ford escort rs1 800 mark 2 71 custom dotson 240z and the vision gran turismo so that's the complete list of the cars right there for a new pop culture mix that will be released december of this year so that's the update for today hope you enjoyed that one and see you on the next video thank you for watching and god bless bye bye